Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be introducing Moonbeam Routed Liquidity, also known as MRL. We'll talk about what it is, how it works, and we'll dive into a hands-on demo using a dApp called Carrier that has already implemented MRL. Moonbeam Routed Liquidity refers to a Moonbeam use case in which assets from any blockchain ecosystem that Moonbeam is connected to are routed through Moonbeam to other Polkadot parachains. Given that Moonbeam is connected to so many different blockchains via GMP providers such as Wormhole, the possibilities for liquidity flows are virtually limitless. MRL relies on a couple of different key components that work together to make the cross-chain asset flows possible, including general message passing to route the assets between Moonbeam and connected blockchains, XEM to route the assets between Moonbeam and the destination parachain, and last but not least, XEM-enabled ERC-20s are the final piece of the puzzle. On Moonbeam, all ERC-20s can be transferred via XEM, which allows the assets to easily flow to a destination parachain. While MRL intends to encompass many different GMP providers, Wormhole is the first that has been built for the public. In this video, we'll be demonstrating moving assets from Phantom to the Hydrodex parachain with the carrier dApp using MRL. Bridging into a Polkadot parachain using MRL is easy. I just want to talk about prereqs for a brief moment. So you do need to have, of course, the asset on the origin chain. In this case, we'll be bridging USDC from Phantom. You also need to have gas funds on the origin chain. In this case, we'll need to have some FTM in our wallet in order to pay for gas fees. And of course, we also need to have an address on the destination chain. And in this case, I have an account that's set up within the Polkadot.js extension that I'll use as my destination account. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. To get started, head to carrier.so. And the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and connect your wallet for the source chain. We'll choose MetaMask in this case. And go ahead and choose your source chain. In this case, we'll be bridging from Phantom over to Hydrodex. Go ahead and connect your wallet on the destination chain as well. And if your wallet doesn't pop up here, no problem. All you need to do is go up and copy the account that you'd like to use as your destination address. Press Enter. And you'll see your account populated here. You can change it at any time by clicking on the address and pressing change. Go ahead and select the token that you'd like to bridge. In this case, we'll choose USDC and we'll go ahead and bridge two and a half dollars of USDC. Once everything looks good, go ahead and press approve. We'll first make an approval transaction. And then we'll go ahead and press confirm and begin transaction. And we'll confirm it in MetaMask. And Carrier will keep you updated on the status of the transaction. Carrier will also take care of the relaying on the destination chain, so there are no further steps that you need to take here. You can close this window at any point. And our transaction is complete. To view more details about the transaction, you can click on this button. And you'll also notice here that it mentions that the final token address is 21. This is actually the asset ID for USDC on Hydrodex. I also want to demonstrate sending assets the opposite way. While MRL is primarily focused at getting assets from outside Polkadot into Polkadot parachains, you may also want to take the reverse action at your convenience. So let's demonstrate exactly that. We'll be moving tokens from Hydrodex back to Phantom. So we'll go ahead and press start another transaction and we'll choose our source chain as Hydrodex. Go ahead and connect your wallet. We'll choose Polkadot.js and pick out the address on the origin chain. And next, go ahead and connect your wallet for the destination chain and we'll choose this account here. Now, this is a great time to talk about the prereqs for bridging out of the Polkadot ecosystem using MRL. You'll notice the prereqs are the same as bridging into, except there is one more, and that is the requirement to have XE Glimmer on the origin parachain. Now, the reason for this is that for an XEM transfer, you need to be able to pay the fees using XE Glimmer, and so you'll need to bridge at least a little bit of Glimmer over to the origin parachain. So in this case, we'll need to bridge a little bit of Glimmer over to Hydrodex. And I'll show you exactly how to do that right now. First thing that we can do is head to apps.moonbeam.network and then head to the cross chain section. Click on parachain bridges. Make sure your wallet is set to the Moonbeam network. If it's not, you can go ahead and press here and change it. And we'll choose Glimmer as our token. And the from network will choose to be Moonbeam. And for the two network, we'll choose Hydrodex. And I'll choose the same account here in the Polkadot.js extension that I'm using from the carrier dApp. And go ahead and choose the sending amount. In this case, I'll choose one Glimmer. And once it arrives on Hydrodex, it becomes known as XC Glimmer. Go ahead and press send and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And our transfer is complete. 
Let's return back to the Carrier DAP, and let's go ahead and select the token that we'd like to bridge. In this case, let's move USDC from Hydrodex back to Phantom. I'll enter one USDC. Once everything looks good, go ahead and press confirm and begin transaction. I'll enter my password and sign the transaction. And that's it. For more information about Moonbeam Routed Liquidity, be sure to check out the links in the description. And don't hesitate to reach out to us on Discord if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.